Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Athira Nair here with us, who's recently got into Shell through her campus placements at VIT, and she is here to share her interview experience with us. Okay, but before we go go into the interview with her, let's understand the eligibility criteria. The branches of CSE, IT, and ECM were eligible. Uh, students with a CGPA of six uh, or sixty percent in tenth and twelfth. And seventy percent or seven CGPA in the pursuing degree with no standing areas were eligible. Hi, Athira. Welcome to my channel. Uh, Hello. Thank you for coming. Would you first like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Athira Nair. I'm from VIT Chennai, and I'm in my fourth year right now in Electronics and Computer Engineering branch. And I got placed at Shell. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, would you now like to uh, start telling us about the total process, like uh, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Yeah, sure. So, about the rounds, it was similar to the other companies' uh, interview process and the selection process. So, first we just fill the form using um, VIT's website, and after that, uh, filling the form, we had one test. So in that test, we were having coding questions, aptitude questions, uh, questions about SQL, and also uh, some DBMS hoops questions. Okay. So after you qualify that, you will get a mail that you have qualified that. And after that, you will be having pre placement talk. So after the pre placement talk, you will be having the interview round of one hour long, where mm. the first half an hour would be for technical questions, where they'll ask you some coding questions. They'll ask you to share your screen and write some code. And after that, the next uh, half an hour was behavioral questions, and they'll be asking, giving you some scenarios. You have to answer if you have gone through that scenario, and how will you tackle it? Okay. So the coding questions uh, level, what what do you think it was like? Easy, medium, or very difficult? Mm, for the round, like for the coding round, it was medium. Hmm. But for the interview round, when they were asking you to share the screen, it was easy to read. Okay. Okay. So okay. After that, uh... after that, you would receive the mail if you have selected or not. Hmm. Now, I since Shell does not uh, give you internship, it directly gives you placement. So now we'll be have starting by July or August. Okay. So after, there was no HR round or anything like that. No, the interview was divided into two into parts. Two okay. Rounds. Okay. Yeah, in two parts. The first. There were two panelists. Hmm. One was for technical. And okay, one okay. Was for technical. okay, okay. So it was like in one uh, continuously. Yeah, it was one after the, the other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. they judge based on both of that, right? Then. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then I would uh, like to ask you how important is operating systems and these courses that we do for the technical interview rounds? How in important they are? For my interview, it was really important because they were basically. Mainly focusing upon OS and DBMS, okay. the questions were mainly about that, hmm. and then some questions about DSA, hmm. and then the coding in general. They were asking you to share and do the code. Okay, so th you had to execute the codes also in the or yeah, yeah, and you have to yeah. get the right output. I had to open the uh, any compiler, whichever is whichever I want to, hmm. and then I have to code whatever they are telling me, and then I have to share. Uh, share the screen and show how the code is working hmm. and also for me there was uh, the behavioral interview sir was not able to see the screens so i had to send a screenshot of the output okay. for that yeah. okay yeah. and then behavioral like what kind of did they ask you like uh, uh, why do you want to join shell such kind of questions or uh... yeah they asked me that but other than that they were mainly scenario based questions like they were uh, going through my resume they were asking the project questions, and hmm. they were asking me since I was in different teams and clubs. So they were asking me, did I go through these scenarios, or what will you do if you know some um, person is not doing the work? Or okay, so some problem they have given, and then yeah, you imagine yeah, yourself in that situation and t uh, yeah. tell them what you do, right? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, so there were basically two rounds: uh, one coding and the interview round. In the interview, there were two parts. One was the Technical part where they asked you coding questions, computer science uh, related, operating systems, DBMS, all these questions, and uh, second part was behavioral, somewhat like HR, and also uh, uh, situation based questions. Yes. Okay. Okay. And the level of coding was in the first round it was uh, moderate, and second it was uh, easy to moderate. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, thank you so much for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for people who want to target Shell particularly? Um, I just say what I followed. So basically, I was going through Geeks for Geeks mm-hmm. since they have uh, uh, company-wise questions. So mm-hmm. I was going through that, and then also they have theory questions and situational-based questions. So I was mainly focusing on Geeks for Geeks. Okay. And also, since I am a C++ coder, so I was going through a YouTube uh, series that was C++ placement course by Apna College. Mm-hmm. So I found it really interesting because it's showing animations and it's kind of easier to understand. Okay. So I went through that and I was focusing on Geek for Geek. I feel it's enough for you okay. to grab it. So, okay. and, uh, and also, uh, since I was having experience from uh, clubs and teams, so it was also a benefit uh, because I was able to answer the behavioral questions pretty easily. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, with respect to uh, operating so systems and with respect to operating system and uh, DBMS, so those of you who studied from Geeks for Geeks, that was enough. Yeah, I apart from what we learnt in college, obviously. Yeah, apart from what we learnt in college, I went to Geeks for Geeks. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and. Thank you so much, Jishu, for coming. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching.